Hi, my name is Patrick. This specific video is for students who are planning to target 100% in the con section or you feel that you are really good in con and you can score 100%. So how do you plan, study that you can maximize the score? So yeah, I've scored 100% six times in CAT. So fairly comfortable with that concept. Uh, I've been training students for more than 20 years for the CAT exam. So scores required to get 100%. I mean, normally you need a perfect score, almost perfect score. I'm saying for 100 percent. You can always get a 99 minute, much lower score, but almost perfect. And out of 22 questions, technically you would need 21 correct, around that. 20 to 21 correct to get a 100 percent. There are cases where the cutoffs have been much lower. I mean, if the paper has been tough, I mean, there have been cases where the paper has been tough and no one has scored all 22. In that case, the cutoffs could go even lower. It depends on how tough the paper is. Okay, sometimes it can even go to 18 or 19 questions, but normally, I mean, if you look at the last few years, it has been almost near perfect scores. Now, if you look at 22 questions, if I need to solve in 40 minutes, which means less than two minutes per question. So I need to solve all questions. One mistake may be here and there. So 21 questions still will get me 100% So Ideally, average two minutes, in which case you need to get solved few questions less than a minute. So if they're easy questions, which are setters, should be able to solve within a minute and tougher questions you can take around three minutes or something to solve right so based on your toughness there will be questions which takes a longer time you need to be able to solve it three minutes but for that you will have to solve questions in less than one minute now what is important how to study as far as possible try to solve it orally because if you keep on using pen a lot i'm not saying a lot of equations etc tends to slow you down because a lot of time is spent in writing in which case we need to try to focus on methods where you can do orally as far as possible. Okay, so for questions like time with distance, equation, geometry, you will have to write. I'm not saying you don't have to write. A lot of questions you need to write, but minimize the writing. The more, less you write, the faster you'll be. So in which case, in practice, try to solve things orally. Okay, always search for methods that does not require too much pen. So which require minimum of pen as far as possible. Okay, because a lot of time goes in. You need to look at how to save time. Also try to can calculate mentally. It is a simple calculation which are there. I'm not taking tough calculations, those not required in the CAT, but a couple of two-digit calculations, simple calculation as far as possible, do in your mind without using the calculator. But yeah, if there's tough calculation, no harm in using Calci uh, in that case. I mean, it's good to use a Calci, it could save you time for tougher calculations. Normally, how to solve? I mean, take a five or ten question at a time. I mean, that's how you study. I mean, take five to ten questions at a time. Try to solve first round two minutes, okay, approximately two minutes per question. Try to solve them orally without using a pen. Don't keep any pen on your side. Two minutes for every question. Go to all the questions and try to solve them. I'm not, two, per, two minutes per question. Then second round, okay, go back to question and give them more two or three minutes and try to solve orally again. Okay, because maybe in the first round you didn't click. Try it in the second round. Okay? Try to solve it orally. Then if you still don't get it, then use a pen and paper and try to solve it. Okay, go back to the uh, solution check is it a better method or go back to question C is, is any other way to solve this question. The more you think, the more you are able to think to questions of uh, better methods, the better you will be. And remember, methods are more important quantity. Instead of solving a lot of questions, focus on solving a few questions but with a better method. That could help a lot. Because in the end, what is more important is trying to save time so that you can solve all the questions in a given time frame. I hope this will help you. I mean, there is no harm in trying for 100% uh, time. Try it out. See if it works for you. Great. You can go ahead. If not, you can always go back to your old methods. Thank you.